Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to make your first macro in Keyboard Maestro, how to add actions to macros, and how to enable and disable macros. Keyboard Maestro is incredibly powerful and incredibly satisfying because it enables us to automate mundane tasks, be productive when using our Macs, and feel good about ourselves because we know a lot of keyboard shortcuts. If you look on the Keyboard Maestro forum, you can see people posting about how much time they've saved using Keyboard Maestro. Some people it's days, some people it's hours, some people even thousands of years. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that you've already installed Keyboard Maestro from the website. There's a free trial that's somewhere between one and three months long. I don't know what that depends on, but it usually lasts a while and you can purchase it after that for $36, I believe, which is some of the best software that money can buy. So definitely worth considering. So let's open up Keyboard Maestro and make our first macro. So this is what it looks like. There's going to be some what are called macro groups on the very left side. So these are sort of like folders that contain multiple macros each. And here is where we see the actual macros that exist within each one of these groups. When you first open the app, you may see text like this, and you're gonna need to go up to view in the menu bar and then do start editing macros. And that will change the layout a bit so that we can actually edit some macros now. So to make our first macro, we go down here to this plus button and you can press that to add a macro or you can do the shortcut commands N. This is our first macro right here. So I'm gonna name it something, my first macro. You can name it anything you want. It's something just to help you remember. And here there are two parts. There's something that triggers a macro and then there are the actual actions that are executed. So a macro is just a series of actions that get triggered by some event. Now that event could be pressing a keyboard shortcut. It could be a time of day when it reaches eight o'clock in the morning, open up these apps, for instance. It could be plugging your computer into a new monitor. Now there's dozens of triggers here, which I'll cover more in depth in a later video, but for now we're just gonna do the simplest, which is a hotkey trigger. So this is just a series of buttons that you would press on your keyboard that would trigger these actions later on. So for now, I'm gonna do something like Command Option N. So I just press that on the keyboard and now it appears here. There's multiple options for how that works, but I'm just going to say if it's pressed, then we'll do the actions. Now to add actions to the macro that will be executed when we press this shortcut, you can come here and press new action. So that's going to look like that. You could also press this button down here. And this is going to bring up the list of all actions that Keyboard Maestro can perform. They're also put into bins that will separate them into the actions that can be performed for specific apps, for instance. But for now, I'm just going to go to all actions and we'll make a very simple macro that opens an application. So I just double clicked on this and that added it to the list of actions. And for this one, we're going to say activate notes. So we're going to make a simple macro that opens an application when we press the shortcut. So now we're done. That's all we had to do. Now, if I press that shortcut here, control option N, and by the way, these symbols are dependent on the key that you press. So command looks like this. Option looks like this symbol. Control is this upwards arrow. Shift looks like this. And there are other symbols that may appear, but these are some of the most common. So it's control is the up arrow and option is that little whatever that thing is. So now if I press this shortcut, control option N, it's going to open up the notes app. So that's it. That's all we had to do to create a simple macro that opens up an application. Now there are 
dozens and dozens of actions here, which you can get very complex macros from. I'll cover many of these actions later in future videos, but for now, we'll keep it really simple. And the last thing that I'll show before we end this video is how to enable or disable macros. So right now, whenever we press the shortcut, it's going to open the notes app. However, sometimes you want to disable macros so they don't work, in which case you can come here, right click on it and press disable or enable macro. So right now, this macro is disabled, and if I press that keyboard shortcut, it's not gonna do anything. If I want to enable that macro again, I can come, right click and press enable. And now it works one more time. So that's it for this simple introduction to Keyboard Maestro. In my next video, I'll show how these triggers work. I'll walk through each one of them and explain the different types of macros that we can make using some of these triggers. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for more cool content and I'll see you in the next one.